Hi, and thank you for watching The Social Life, the place to be for entrepreneurs with a purpose. Today I'm going to be answering the question about do I need to dissolve my current for-profit business to become a 501c3? And the short answer to that question is no. The long answer to that question is you just need to understand the steps you need to take in order to do that. So today that's what I'll be explaining. In order to change your for-profit business into a non-profit business, there are a couple things you'll need to do. The thing you'll need to do is you'll need to start with a mission. You have to understand that your mission ha now has to focus on the purpose and your social impact rather than your profit, and your mission needs to reflect that. So it should be saying that your mission is to eradicate poverty somehow, or your mission is to help ch help children learn to read by selling these types of books to the public or whatever your mission is but it needs to show your social impact and it needs to show how you plan to raise funds for those children in need like what are you what is your purpose for your business what is that purpose becoming so this can be one or two lines but it still needs to be the focus of why you are actually um, creating this for purpose or for impact business and that's just the basis of changing your changing your for-profit to a non-profit now you can keep your name you may be wondering do I need to change my name do I have to change anything regarding that you may you can change you can keep your name but you will need to still do a name reservation request um, for that specific name under the 501c3 if you haven't you like if you're gonna change your name or make any changes to it at all say you're gonna make it um, incorporated instead of you know just what it was before so if I had a business and it was Launchpad for Kids and it was a sole proprietorship and that was just what I called it and then I changed it to a corporation because you will need to become a corporation when you are looking to become a nonprofit and apply for 501c3 status um, so if you're looking to do that then you will need to do another name reservation request because you are making an amendment to your name so I hope that makes sense. I feel like that was very wordy. So the most important part of this whole process is that you'll need to call your Secretary of State. And I would recommend really calling, like picking up the phone and calling your Secretary of State. They generally answer the phone. Someone in their office will answer the phone and be able to give you the information. But you'll need to call and make sure that you explain that you are changing from a for-profit business to a non-profit business and this is just to let your Secretary of State know that your business will no longer be a for-profit and that you are now applying for non-profit status and each state has their own ways of dealing with this but that is the most important key aspect of this entire video so keep that in mind as I talk about the rest of the steps that you'll need to go through so as I said your first part is your mission your second part is you need to have a fundraising or sustainability plan. How are you planning to raise these funds to keep your nonprofit steady and working and moving along, right? That's the most important step when you're looking at nonprofits. So you need to be able to do a fundraising plan, a sustainability plan, um, be able to have some sort of projections like where are you thinking you will get this money from? If you're, you know, if you're changing to a nonprofit, you'll be changing from customers to now donors which gives them a choice they may still be customers if you're selling merchandise and they like your merchandise anyway and you already have customers involved and if you do have customers involved you will want to bring them along on what you're doing show them the changes that you're making tell them what you're planning to do and become and why you're changing from a for-profit business to a nonprofit business um, those are always good ways to keep that loyalty there and keep people engaged in your business and what you're doing. You need to also have your bylaws and your board, right? And your board can be the same officers that you held while you were running a for-profit business. So if you had an advisory board or you had um, officers that were you know, stakeholders or anything like that that was part of your business already, you can move those over into your um, nonprofit as your board members if they so choose to come along so um, I and I would also go back and watch that uh, start your own nonprofit in seven steps and then watch also some of my board videos because that will tell you what to look for in a board member um, what what you what all the steps are in creating a nonprofit and basically your biggest step is changing letting your Secretary of State know that you're changing from a for-profit to a nonprofit uh, then next you will need to 
create your articles of incorporation and that will mean that you are now incorporating which is where you get the INC on the end of uh, corporations names you know so for mine it's launchpad for kids comma INC which means incorporated and you will need to do that in order to um, become a nonprofit and apply for nonprofit status at least that's my understanding you will need to go through that articles of incorporation since it is a requirement of the nonprofit um, application. The last thing you'll need to do is file the 1023 EZ. So this is essentially like the video um, start your own nonprofit in seven steps, which I will add into this video. Um, I would go check that out. It has all the steps you'll need to do. And basically the only steps that you are uh, bypassing is that you won't have to really do a, um, you won't have to figure out your name because you already have one and you'll need to call your secretary of state which is going to be a little bit different than if you were starting on your you know starting from scratch and you will need to let them know that you're moving from a for-profit to a non-profit and see if there's any other requirements that you'll have to do but basically you go through the same exact steps as starting a non-profit from scratch so the IRS will want you to fill out the 1023 EZ um, which will be the bulk of your expenses for the nonprofit process and it will also be the bulk of your time. So you just want to make sure that you have your articles of incorporation and your bylaws completed before you start doing the 1023 easy. Um, and I would get all of that done as soon as possible uh, together and just maybe take two weeks out of your time and just finish it all because that's the best way to get everything done and then that way you know you have it all complete and you're just waiting for the IRS to grant you your 501c3 status. So that's it. I hope this video helped you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got the, all the information that you need to get out there and unleash your something amazing. And I can't wait to hear what you decide to do with this. Let me know the name of your business if you're planning to switch over from a for-profit to a non-profit. I'd love to follow up and see um, what you do and what becomes of your nonprofit and your social impact business. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.